Hello Skiller fans, today we are taking a look at a modern Mexican boxer. A boxer with the heart of a warrior and the technique most boxers only aspire to have. Let's start the breakdown by taking a look at his unique boxing stance. Boxing stance. When it comes to his boxing stance, he usually boxes from a high guard, mixing it up with a Philly shell at short distance. But this Philly shell has a twist to it, which makes it unique. He often turns it into a cross guard or cross arm guard. That is a guard you rarely see these days, and it was more popular on old school boxers like Ken Norton or George Foreman. He uses it to block and parry his opponent's attacks, moving the hand from one side of his face to the other, while trying to roll with the punches. Now, let's take a look at those refined skills we mentioned. Punch precision. In terms of his offensive work, like any other Mexican boxer, he is great at combination punching. But what stands out about Estrada is his formidable precision. Demon is hurt. He, can Demon is hurt. he combines and alternates combinations. He doesn't repeat them, making them predictable. Short combinations by Estrada. Not winging his shots, just looking for the right pinpoint shot with technique. He can also place those punches from different positions, whether it's from a sided position in Vegas, Estrada. squared up. Estrada has the oh, big right hand. Or on the move. Good punch. Ten seven round for Estrada. In any situation. He is able to combine his punches and land them at great precision. He also is able to change rhythms and use each punch for a different purpose. Some to hurt, some just to make his opponent cover and some to set up a power punch. Quadras, Quadras, show the heart of a champion refusing to go. Go here in the eleventh. Oh, and he's getting peripheral vision. His defense all round is extremely good. He can roll with punches, get out of the way with his footwork, and is able to understand distance at a different level. But if we had to highlight something unique about his defense, it's his masterful use of the peripheral vision. The peripheral vision is all you can see up and down and to the sides without having to move your head. In other words, everything you can see that is not in your central vision. A lot of times you will see him look down or to the side, but still manage to identify all of his opponent's punches to perfection. An incredible ability that allows him to evade punches without having to do exaggerated movements and also allows him to counter in a more unpredictable way. Come on, 
round. round. Has not been deterred. By boxing backwards. While he is really good boxing forward and trading on the inside, he is at his best when he fights from the outside moving and using his range. He is incredibly accurate and elusive while boxing backwards. That is due to his great defence and counter punching ability, but mainly due to his great control of the footwork. You will often see him get in a rhythm by doing extremely short but fast bounces that give him a quick reaction time and great agility on his feet. Demon is hurt and contained enough for your chin to go off your shoulder like that. So seven years later, his mom died. Demon is hurt and contained. He can move freely through the ring by just using his footwork and throwing punches in between. It's the power to change this. It's the power to change this. Here at the forum where they have. Here at the forum where they have. Three punch combination right off his head. Right Three punch combination right off his head. Right Another great display of his footwork is when he uses it to create angles, and especially on the inside by just turning around his opponent. I can't say anything. I can't say anything. Here at Hermosillo. Here at Hermosillo. Now we have seen the best of Estrada, let's take a look at his biggest flaw. Dre's too much on the inside. While he is really good on the inside and a lot of times finds success there, we believe he is at his best when fighting on the outside. A lot of times he voluntarily trades on the inside with pressure fighters and power punchers when he could simply outbox them. But that is also the Mexican mentality and what makes him a tough opponent. But we would like to know your opinion on the comments. Do you see other skills or flaws in Juan Estrada? Let us know and if you enjoyed this video, you can find more on our channel and to your left, we have chosen a video that we thought you may like.